Hey guys, got something new in the mail. Stay tuned, time for an unboxing. Of course, moves his deck to the food truck. Of course. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Two Wheel Bet. Today will be an unboxing video for the Simpson Mod Bandit. Um, it is a modular helmet, uh, and typically if I'm gonna wear a helmet, it's gonna be a module. Uh, reason for that being is it's got the best of both worlds. Uh, one side being a half or three quarter shell, uh, where you can lift the chin bar on this and get the same amount of airflow over your face and the capability of taking a drink while on the road, whatever it may be. And then the pauses of a full face where you have that extra protection to the front of your face in the event you're in a crash. Uh, because we all know um, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Uh, I've been in two and my helmet, being a module helmet closed up, has saved me, or at least my pretty looks here, twice. So I can swear to that. Uh, module helmets I've worn in the past have been the HJC RPHA uh, 90. And then uh, Nolan's uh, modular helmet. Uh, I can't remember the model number off the top of my head right now, but uh, I wear those at work. Um, currently wearing the HJC, <coughs> but uh, they're both great helmets. Um, you know, Nolan, I'm not a big fan of their chin bar release system, but this is not the point of the video to make uh, to call out issues with other helmets. We're just going to talk about this one today. So let's go ahead and uh, get her opened and take a look at it. So right here guys, we have the Simpson Mod Bandit. Um, it is a modular helmet by Simpson. So I wanna start off by saying I am not being sponsored by any companies uh, in this video. I'm just calling them out just so you know who I purchased this stuff from. So I uh, purchased this helmet from Speed Addicts on their website. Uh, I got the helmet for $514.95 um, and then the Mirror Shield, which I'll show you here in a moment, was for uh, $77.20. So for under $600, I was able to get a well-equipped uh, helmet to get me down the road safely. So uh, this helmet is uh, weighs about 3.73 pounds. It is DOT certified. And, um, you know, I've had it out of the box already. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, I just put it on my head briefly just so I can make sure it fit comfortably um, and I can talk a little more about it while making this video. This is not a review. That'll come after my Colorado trip in June. Uh, and we'll go over more of the you know, ins and outs of this helmet and how well I like it for just regular wear and then also for my vlog setup. So a few things I like about this helmet, uh, we'll go over. Uh, for vlogging, I like how the front is shaped. It's got a nice good flat surface to help mount uh, my GoPro or what other camera you guys choose to use. Um, it, the top has a good flat section also for mounting a camera system and also on the sides here you get a clean spot to mount a uh, comm system that's not so far back where it's going to cause an issue with your mic boom it's you know flat all around the side here uh, chin bar operation is very simple it's a single tab pop it up locks into place and it's a good, a good firm lock to hold it up there <coughs> The visor here up the front, um, it's got a multiple uh, multiple locks on it. All right, I'm not one that likes to have it, you know, partially closed. I'm either all the way closed or all the way up, but to each his own. Uh, on the side of the helmet here, on the left side of the helmet, you will find a little lever here, a switch if you will, and that operates the sun visor that's built in. Uh, it might be hard to get it on video here, but scroll up and it brings the visor down, come down and it goes up. So, so that's pretty neat. Um, I've had that on a lot of my module helmets. Uh, I typically don't use it. I usually have sunglasses on when I'm riding. And uh, especially now that I'm putting a mirror lens on here, which also um, is 
uh, smoked. Uh, it won't really use. I won't really be using that visor, that uh, sunshade inside, but it's good that it's there. As far as the vents go, there's quite a few vents on the chin bar here uh, to help out. Uh, you know, keeping your helmet from fogging up would help keep you cool if you're having a chin bar down. It's like a sauna in here. Uh, the top of the helmet, there's not many vents going on up here, just the two. And then little vents on the back side of the helmet as well. So again, as I said before, this is a DOT certified helmet. Um, so the safety is there, guys. One thing that I do not like, which I haven't done it yet because I want to leave the helmet completely stock uh, for the video, is this little, little chin gasket or padding or whatever you want to call it here. Uh, for those that are born with large chins like myself, um, this gets hung up trying to close the helmet and then trying to open your chin bar. It's a pain in the neck, so I will be removing that as soon as I'm done filming this video. But just minor things. <clears throat> The shield I purchased is the Simpson uh, little mirror lens there, little mirror shield. So I'm going to be putting that on. I'm a little excited about that. I've usually only used um, just the regular clear one because I would run sunglasses during the day. And then if I had to ride at night or uh, cloudy conditions, I would just take the sunglasses off and still had that eye protection going. So, but again, uh, I'm pretty excited about it. This was just an unboxing video. That's all this was. Uh, so if you're looking forward to seeing my review on this, you got a little bit of time to wait because uh, that won't be coming till after I get back in June from Colorado from CVMA Nationals, and I will have that review for you. So if you have any questions, just get them together, and I'll be happy to answer them once I get back. But uh, stay tuned because that June uh, video will be a collaboration with a buddy of mine, Moose, uh, which when that video comes out, I will put his channel's information uh, in it and we're gonna have a lot of good stuff coming in that one a lot of cool rides uh, some partying so stay tuned for that but uh, for now I'm gonna go ahead and close this out y'all continue to ride safe out there wear a helmet I don't like to do that sometimes but we need to be smarter about that kind of stuff and uh, we will see you down the line